you for joining me. My name is Jenny Allen. So before we get started with today's video, please make sure that you are subscribed, that you thumbs up this video and check the description box below. So welcome to today's video. And I put up um, a video on my um, channel about a, um, a video of a Timu haul that I did and I bought lots of things, lots of stationary items, pencil cases and whatever, um, because I needed um, some new stationery because I go to the library or a coffee shop quite regularly to do my Bible study. So, you know, when you can be at home, you can get distracted, you, be look, you can be looking at something and you're thinking, oh no, I need to do that too many distractions at home. So I um, go to my local library. I have about three local libraries. I choose one to go to um, or a coffee shop and I sit there and do my work. So I, um, I plan like for two hours I go there or maybe three and I have some water with me and maybe some gum or something and i sit there and i get quite a lot of studying done because there's no distraction so i'm going to show you what i put in my pencil case to go to the library and um and i'll also show you some of the things that i actually bring with me so the first thing is i have my iphone here and it's an old iphone that i've got and I kept it and the only thing that's on it is YouTube and my Bible, Holy Bible app. So I have a separate phone where I have the Bible app on. I also have the Bible app on my, my normal um, iPhone, which I'm using to record. But when I'm studying, I use this phone with the Bible app on it, less distraction, less notifications, etc. So I use this and it is really, really good. I saw somebody on YouTube um, using their iPhone, a second iPhone with just their Bible app on it to do study and um, it worked for them. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to try this and it works. So I have a separate iPhone with my Bible app on it, and that works really well. This is the pencil case that I got from my Timu, Timu Hall. So I'm going to fill it up as if I'm going to the library. So I'm just going to turn off my iPhone. So there's the iPhone that goes in there. Then I have several post-its that I bring when I'm doing my study and I want to make a mark or make a note in my Bible. So I've got two ordinary post-its and I've got a packet of post-its with lines in it. Okay, so I bring those. And then I also bring, this is what, this is what I got from Timu, their see-through post-its. You can write on them, put your notes in your Bible, and it's see-through enough for you to still see the Bible, um, the written pages of the Bible underneath. So I really, really like that, and it's see-through, and I got this from Timu. I also bring several different highlighters. I went to, I was invited to an event, so that's why I've got a highlighter that says Metropolitan Police on it because I've got it in a goodie bag. Um, and I got, I have several different types of highlighters, colored pens. Um, yeah, and I've got a gold pen here, yellow pen, green pen, um, felt tip pen. So I have different ranges of colored pens and highlighters to use. So in case, I'm, you know, in case I'm, I'm doing something or I'm doing a study and I just grab one or depending on what I'm looking at, I can just pick up one of these and highlight it, underline, mark, circle, do whatever. And, you know, you can be somewhere and your pen runs out or your highlighter finishes it without you, without you realizing it. So that's why I've got a few in there. It looks like a lot. <laughs> 
but I've got quite a few there because I don't want any pen or highlighter running out on me while I'm in the library. Okay, so that's my highlighters. which I just chuck in there. And then these pens, I got these pens from Timu and I'm using them for my uh, Bible study. I used one this week and it is excellent. And um, I can't remember how much these were from Timu now, but I got them. And as you can see, the nibs are different sizes, so you've got 0 0.7, 0 0.5, 0 0.3, 0 0.05, which is very, very thin, and 0 0.1. So if you're writing in your Bible and you haven't got much room, or you've got a smaller Bible, you're using a smaller Bible for study, then you can just select a pen that has the correct nib for the page that you're working on. Okay, so this is really, really good. I love these. So let me just, um, so this is the, they're called needle drafting pens. This is so good, so, so good. I really love these. So this is what I use as well. Um, I also have a fountain pen. Uh, when I was at school, <laughs> at primary school, uh, and I entered secondary school, this is like in the late 70s, early 80s, um, we always used to use fountain pens, and I love writing with fountain pen. So I have a fountain pen here, and the ink is blue. So I carry a fountain pen with me, um, because sometimes I fancy using a fountain pen. There we go. And then I have a variety of pens. Maybe it's a bit OTT. <laughs> Maybe it's a bit OTT, but here was some um, different pens. Because sometimes, as I said, you can be writing something and your pen runs out. And I don't want that to be me because I'll be really, really irritated. So I've got several pens here. Here I've got my Heart of Refuge pen that I designed. I was looking to get some um, a pen done so that I can be posting that out with a um, with a notebook, but it was too expensive to post to the United States. So I'm looking at a digital one. So this is my Heart of Refuge pen. Um, this pen has got four different colored inks in it. So you've got red, blue, green, uh and black so this is really handy so you just take this and flip it down um or if you want green or if you want blue uh, black or if you want red so this is a really really good pen i like this so i bought a pack of these from my local um stationery supply store here in london and they're really really good and then yeah i've got the other pens here and that's it, just in case it runs, they run out, because I will be irritated. <laughs> so I just slip those in there. And then the others I just throw in the back. And then I have three pencils, depending on what I'm doing. I could be mind mapping something, I could be drawing something, I could, I want to, maybe I want to highlight something and I don't want to use a pen and I grab a pencil. So I've got three pencils. This one has got a rubber at the end and it's a twist up pencil. Oh, sorry about my nails there. And then this is an ordinary pencil and another ordinary pencil. Okay, so there are three pencils and I put that in there. Then I have a pair of scissors, depending on if I'm preparing something for YouTube or um, if I want to cut out something, depends on what I'm doing. I carry a pair of scissors around with me. That goes in here. And I've got a ruler in case I want to draw a box or do something. 
uh, that where a ruler is needed, I have my ruler. And then I just put that in there, zip this, and that's my pencil case done. Sorry, that's shaking there. That's my pencil case done. I've got everything in there. And then, you know, um, our phones have loads of apps where we would have to be bringing books and concordances and all of that. I've got a few apps um, that I use, that I use, and I'll put them on the screen. I use Blue Letter Bible app. The Blue Letter Bible app has very, very good strong concordance in there. And um, that is excellent. I love my Blue Letter Bible app. And I also subscribe to BibleStudyTools.com where they have loads of concordances, loads of different versions of the Bible, loads of historical background information at the um, at the sorry, loads of historical background information about the Bible. So I just also, I bring my iPad because a lot of the things that I use, they're online and we don't really have to carry around concordances and stuff like that. Even though when I'm studying at home, I do use my study materials in the form of books. But when I go to the library, I use apps, so I bring my iPad with me, which is very much needed. And then I bring my Bible that I love to study with. This is one of my absolute favorite Bibles because I love the King James Version and I love the Amplified Bible. I absolutely love it. I fell in love with the Amplified Bible all in the early 1990s, which is what, about 30 years ago now. But I absolutely love it. And, you know, I use other Bibles to study, but I always go back to this one. This one is at my bedside um, on my... Um, nightstand and this is what I always grab. If I'm doing a study about something at home, I will grab one of my other Bibles for references. You know, let's see what the other ones are saying. Um, but I absolutely love this Bible. Absolutely love it. So I bring that with me and then I bring a notebook just in case I, you know, something comes to mind while I'm studying. You know, when you're studying and the enemy wants to distract you, he will tell you what you haven't done at home. Um, so what I do, I have a notebook to write down all the things that he reminds me of <laughs> that I need to do, which is excellent. But I also, you know, if I'm something comes to mind that I need to do for YouTube or if the Holy Spirit lays something on my heart that I need to do further study on, I write them in my notebook. And then lastly, I have another notebook because I listen to messages online and um, I take notes from those messages. So if I want to do further study into those messages, I take notes and then I will go to the library and study those um study those messages with the scriptures that were given in the message okay so i hope this was really really helpful also um in the i have my um let me get that out quickly let me get that out in my phone let me just turn it on. Right, so one thing that I forgot to mention as well. Sorry, you can see the glare of my mirror there. Let me just bring it up here a bit. Sorry about that. Um, of the, the, the ring light. Here as well, so you don't have to bring so many different versions of the Bible with you. The You can just click here and then you get a drop down. Sorry. You get a drop down of all the different versions of the Bible um, <clears throat> that you can look at if you want to cross-reference something. You've got different versions of the Bible in here. I don't look at a lot of these. I, I just don't, I don't look at, at um, I don't look at a lot of these. 
um, and I just focus in on a three or four versions. But, you know, it's very compact and you have everything there. So if this was helpful, let me know and um, let me know what you bring to the coffee shop or what you bring to the library when you go to do Bible study. Do you go to the library and Bible study or a coffee shop or are you quite content to do your studies at home? Okay, so God bless and I will see you in my next video. God bless. Thank you.